Okay, troubleshooting video five. Machine is running, speeding up, accelerating, but we don't have pressure at the machine. The pressure on our machines is always indicated by the right pressure gauge, which a lot of machines, they show either, they indicate anywhere from zero to 2,000. On some of our high horsepower, you'll be able to see zero to 3,000. One of the areas, if you have no pressure or weak pressure, sometimes your pressure regulator might come loose with vibration and come apart. There is three items that could be blown out of the uh, regulator. If I use the screwdriver, I'll be able to just remove it out easier. Now we have a thrust plate, we got the spring, and we got the cap. In a lot of cases, an individual trying to put this machine, put the pressure regulator back together, they put the pin backward. In other words, the correct way for this thrust plate to go in, it is to go with the end with the ball into the machine. In a lot of cases, the operator, I mean, are in, she's, she or he is hurrying to get the machine going. They put the ball inside of the spring and put in the cap back on, which of course causes the machine not to have pressure or weak pressure. So the best position to put the, uh, or the correct position to put the thrust plate is for the ball to go into the machine. But the best way to put it really to put the spring inside of the uh, cap, put the thrust plate in the center, slowly enter it, and as you go in, go ahead and twist it in. Now let's say the, uh, the thrust plate was correct, it was okay, but, but we still have low pressure. Maybe your pressure regulator is too loose. Maybe you need to turn it clockwise for the pressure to start rising on the gauge. Now, okay, let's say we check those and we still have low pressure at the machine. These machines, they operate with water. If they don't get enough water to them, they will not have enough pressure to build up. So one of the best areas, one of the first areas you're gonna check, it will be your watts regulator, incoming water regulator, which is used on our machine to help our pump to inject chemical. Maybe this handle is, uh, with the vibration has come all the way loose to the point that will not allow enough water to pass through the system for the machine to pressurize. So let's say, if you happen to find this handle is all screwed out, I mean, screwed uh, all the way out, one of the first thing you do, you go ahead and use a half inch uh, wrench, loosen that retainer knot right here. That way you'll be able to twist the regulator clockwise to the point that you got about seven threads left. Go ahead and secure it. Let's say we have done this, we're still getting low pressure. Another area you want to check, it will be if your DEMA valve, which is going to be on the left side, has popped open. And it's spraying water continuously to the tank. How do you know? That's happening simple. By removing the uh, top of the tank, you should be able to see a good amount of water spraying out of that jet, which of course, it gets the pressure to go into the tank rather than coming to you for you to be, do it, for you to be able to do cleaning. Now, if all of those are uh, running correctly, we still have low pressure at the machine, that's when we're gonna move into the head of the pump, checking our check valves, which of course, there are videos online on, their, um, on our website, um, uh, Amtax Repair Shop online that you can see thoroughly how to take your head of a pump apart and simply repair them. So the first area, again, to touch base would be the good amount of water coming into the machine, making sure that your regulator has not come loose, the cap, make sure you have not put the, the thrust plate backwards. The ball at the end of that thrust plate should go into the machine. If that's not the problem, it's not solving the problem, check, make sure your T-handle is has not vibrated loose and come all the way out, not allowing enough water to pass. The next would have been check and see if there is any water continuously spraying out of your either pores, either your, mainly is gonna be really out of the, uh, the your um, uh, relief uh, jet, which is basically connected to the, to the demo valve. If that's not the case, the final will be checking the head of the pump, which of course there are videos online assisting you how to change and service the pump. Thank you. We're going to do the uh, video number six in a little bit.